Hello everyone, welcome to T4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create dynamic permission in your Drupal instance from the customer. So dynamic permission in the sense, uh, when you in, enable any module, so if it is related to content type, so you will be having a permission based upon the content type. So for node one permission, article one permission will be there, content, a basic page one permission, any other content type, whatever you are creating. So based upon each node type, you will have a separate permission. So we are going to do the same way now. So here, when you scroll down, here you can see. Here you can see I have created three permissions. So one is article, basic page, landmark. So if I navigate to the instance and create new content type, Testing. Once I created a new content type, if I go and refresh here, so you can see our new permission is added here. So the permission will be generated based upon how many content types you are having. Okay. So that's what we are going to see now. So I'm going to use this dynamic permission in my uh, controller page. So I have given like this. But this video, I am going to explain only how to create a dynamic permission. In next video, I will tell you how to handle this permission from your controller page. Okay. So that's it. And let's go to a mod module file. So this is my permission.yml file. Normally, we will be giving title description, right? So here you have to call something like permission callback. And here you have to define where you are going to uh, define all the dynamic permissions. So I am calling a controller. In that controller, from the dynamic uh, permission function, I'm going to return all the permissions. So when you scroll down, so here you can see the function is there. Here I have already included node type here. Okay. So I'm loading all the node types. So load multiple, it will load all the node type, article, basic page, landmark, testing here. So I'm uh, doing it in for each. So in that, I will get an ID. Okay, so I'm keeping that as an ID here and parameters. So I'm going to use this as a placeholder, the label name. So I am keeping that in an array with the placeholder of dollar or oh, sorry, uh, percentage type and then label. So you have to return permissions in an array. So already I created an empty array, I'm just concatenating it. So uh, every time when it comes in, it will do the concatenation for the permissions. So this is the machine name which I am using. So this will be like a uh, controller. So normally when you create a dynamic permission, you will give a machine name, right? That's what this is. So here it will be page. For basic page, it is a page. And then next. One second. The permission. And then here, title. So title will be, this is what the title. So title is, this is the title. So percentage type will be replaced with the label here. So how it will be created is that it will be created like this. Oh, it's a basic page here. Basic page. And then next one, description. Okay, so this is how the permission will be generated dynamically for all the uh, node types. So if it is article, here it will be replaced with the article. Here it will be replaced. If it is landmark, here in these two places, the name will be replaced. And if it is testing, the same case. So this is how the permission will be uh, generated in this function. Okay, so now I have constructed all the permission in array. And I'm returning the permission. Once I return, if I go to the people permission, if I refresh, you can see. So this is how we uh, I explained in permission file, right? So this is the machine name. So for basic page, basic page controller permission, you can see basic page controller permission. And this is the permission for controller based on the node. Okay. So the same way article is created, landmark is created, testing is created. So this is how you have to create a dynamic permission from your custom module. 
and in next video i will explain how to use this permission in your custom model and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye